In this video, let's understand what is fixed effect. Suppose we want to estimate this equation here, and we don't have a CI, therefore CI is inside the error term. The consequence is beta will be biased, because the default assumption is that CI is correlated with XIT. If you assume that CI is uncorrelated with XIT, this will be the case of Randall effect. The goal of fixed effect is to eliminate this CI here. Then, let's average the data over time. See this Y bar is the mean. See that there is no T here. That means we will average over time. See that it will disappear with T because we average over T. Note that CI is not a function of time. Therefore, when you average CI over time, you just get CI. And if you subtract equation 2 from equation 1, we vanish with CI. And you call this process time demeaning. And you can write in more compact way this equation in this way. The y2 dot is just this expression here. The x2 dot is just this expression. See that there is no CI here. And the CI is not inside the error term. Beta can be still be biased, but not because of CI, because of another problem. Now, let's understand that fixed effect can be implemented by a dummy variable regression. I is the unit of analysis. Let's think that you have 30 countries. That means if you run this regression here with dummies for each country, you are going to get the same effect as if you do the time demeaning. If you study a PhD textbook, you will see the mathematical derivation that if you run this regression here, you'll be equivalent to do the time demeaning. See how important is to use the I notation here for C, because each country has your own CI. That means the C from United States is different from Brazil, Germany, or Italy. When you are put dummy variables, for United States, Germany, and etc., what you are doing is controlling for this CI here. When the unit of analysis is country, we call this country fixed effect. If this I here is firm, we call this firm fixed effect. And if you have a T time period, and you put dummy for each time period, we call this time fixed effect. And what's the logic of put dummies for countries or for time. This beta here is just one number. You can think as a constant. When you add country fixed effect and time fixed effect, you are claiming that it is beta. The value that you got for beta is not driven by a specific country or a specific time period.